Good morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And welcome to New Beginnings Church at the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Amen. 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 Bienvenidos a ese nuevo comienzo. And we say this every time. And every time you get in front of God, just remember this. <laughs> Get ready to receive. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen? Amen. Prepare ourselves to receive. The problem is not on his end. The problem is on our end. Yeah, yeah. And we need to be ready to receive what God has for us. Amen? Amen. And I've told you this many times, but uh, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> he gives you a message, I'll bring it to you. Amen? Amen. So all of you that are joining us by audio video, prepare yourselves to receive. Todos los que nos escuchan por audio video, prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And he always has something good for us. Amen? But then again, sometimes... Well, I, I forgot to give you a handout. Maybe next time I'll give you a handout. But you know, nowadays, uh, not that one, it's another one. <laughs> uh, instead of being convicted, we get offended. Oh. And you know, child of God, uh, God wants to, he wants the best for us. Yeah. So sometimes he's got to correct us. And if we got one of the conviction, then, you know, hey, you know what you need to straighten out. Yeah. Amen. But, it, you know, uh, don't be offended. Amen. Because if you're offended, that means your faith was not in him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's so true. if you need to be cor corrected, be corrected. Amen. But if not, he wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you. He don't want to leave you the same. Amen. That's he right. put you here to succeed. He put you here to be a winner, not a loser. That's right. If he sees yourself that way, then don't. Amen. Yeah. Because you're a child of God. Amen. And we're on God's winning side. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I'm excited all about you. But we're going to be talking about Whose report shall you believe? Yeah. Amen. And you know, there's always negative things going around. Now there's a coronavirus, you know. Oh, but whose report are you going to believe? Uh -huh. Amen. We're going to believe the report of the Lord. And you can Amen. say that I am going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. What's the word of God says? Well, I don't know. Well, it's time that you know. So it's time to get in the word uh -huh. and do a little study. It says study to show yourself approved. Yes. Amen. Because there's always going to be. Things going around. We're talking about wars, rumors of wars, you know, fighting against enemies. Amen. But we need to know what the Word of God says. Get it in us so that we can get ourselves and let that little shot, light of ours shine all the time. Yes. Yeah. Don't let nothing, Satan or anybody or any distraction, put that light out. That's right. Amen. Keep yourself energized all the time yeah. and let that light of God shine all the time through you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Whose Lord. report will you believe? I gave you a handout and we're going to be using it. Whose report uh -huh. are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report of the world? Are you going to believe the negative report, the bad report? Or are you going to believe what the Word of God says? Uh -huh. You know, sometimes the majority <laughs> is not the right answer. Yes. Amen. We're going to find out about Jacob and, and Caleb, Joshua and Caleb. Uh -huh. Amen. The bad report was majority. Yes. But there was the minority. And sometimes you got to stand by yourself. Yeah. Amen. Because there's a, there's a big road, huge road going to hell. <laughs> huh. I don't want to go. I don't want to follow the crowd. It's just because the majority right. is going that way. I'm going to stay over here on the, on, on, on the right road yeah. to heaven. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put you in the amen. And we ain't even started yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So whose report will you believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. I don't know about you. But if you don't know what, what what his report says, then it's time to get in the word, open yeah. or open his word and get into the word yeah. and let that word come in you. Amen. Build yourself up. You know what happens when you get into the word? Your faith is built. Yeah. And when you step out into the world on a daily basis, you gotta be full of faith. If you ain't full of faith, you're full of fear. Yes. Uh -huh. And you ain't gonna be no help to God, even and you know, if you're full of fear. You could be a believer, a Christian. And be defeated. You don't want to live a defeated life as a Christian. You want to live a life of vic victorious or victory, a life of victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Who great is he is in that he is in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the just shall walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah, right. Amen. So I want to be a hearer and doer of what God has for me. So you can do the same thing. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Grab your source, certain church, and say it like you mean it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know where it says spirit? You can also say heart. My heart. Amen. That's your heart. That's your spirit. Amen. It's not just that little thing that bounces. 
you know, that pumps blood, yes. but your spirit yes. is receptive. Amen. And my mind is alert. So get your mind ready. <laughs> just yes. put it under arrest and just say, Lord, I'm canceling out all priorities. You're my priority. Amen. Sometimes we've got so much priorities. Uh -huh. We just got to put it to rest, you know, and say, yes. hey, this is your time. Just like uh, Mary came at Jesus' feet and said, oh, Martha says, man, we've got so many things to do. What are you doing sitting there ministering to? Uh -huh. And I'm being ministered to, amen. amen. So praise God. We need to amen. remember that. We've got to have that kind of attitude, amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Get yourselves ready. Put yourself on go. Yeah. And we're going to blast off, amen. amen. <laughs> Whose report will you believe? We're living in a world full of bad reports, contrasting oh, reports. Satan and the world system oh, okay. give you a bad or negative yeah. report. And this is on constantly. And this is daily, all the time. You know, you turn your, you, if you turn your TV on, all you hear is the bad, the sad news, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah if, if you don't, uh, if you're not grounded in the word <laughs> and you're not studying the word, mm. you're gonna fall right for it, you know? Yeah. And But you don't have to do that. Because you know where your faith is. You know what, what the word of God says. Amen. But it says God and his followers, believers, give a good report. Uh -huh. Amen. And they believe the good report. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. I better thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Whose report will you believe? Yeah. I am going to believe the report of the Lord. Oh. I, you can scratch that and just put your name on there. Yeah. I, Jose, am going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> the world may not like it, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm standing with him. He's standing with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Holly, he said, never leave me nor forsake me. So I know he's there. Right. Amen. He's with me. Amen. Sadly, some Christians uh, confess and Sadly, some Christians. I don't know. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. John 10.10. And there came only in order to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that they might have and uh, enjoy life, and they um, and have it abundant abundantly. Ah, oh, hallelujah! Praise God. That was in the uh, one of the other one says, huh, "The life cometh, but not for them to steal, kill, and destroy." I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, amen. amen. So the enemy wants to come and to give. Excuse me. Ah. Steal, kill. And to kiss, steal, kill, and destroy. But I've come that you might have life and have it more, more abundantly. Amen. They say, I can't do I can't do that. It's impossible. Nobody cares. I can't be healed. I'm not good enough. Mm. I always catch that. 
that's not going to help you. Amen. That's not going to help you at all. You know, the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who yeah, strengthens us. Yeah. Amen. We can do all things through Christ. Christ who strengthens us. Amen. So praise God. And uh, we're going to have it here in a few minutes. Go to the next one. <coughs> okay. Just, just leave it there. No, go ahead. Keep going. One more. Okay. That's good. So, you turn to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 50, 53 and verse 4. 53, 4. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and he has esteemed him stricken, um, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was yeah. bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the chastisement of our uh, peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. healed. Amen. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> your body's telling you something, the enemy's trying to tell you something, but guess what? We need to know what the Word of God says. Yes, By yeah, His stripes, yeah. we are healed. Yeah. Amen. And if you turn, go to the next one. There we go. First Peter. We want you to know this. Amen. Because, uh, oh, you know what's happening. Uh, this is happening. That's happening. We have bad, bad news, you know. The enemy's busy. But guess what? First Peter. Ah, uh, First Peter two twenty four, and we need to know these. You know, some of these things you already know all the time, but that's okay. Get them out and go over them. You know, and uh, get them in you. So praise God. Uh, twenty four says what? Who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead uh, to sin, should be alive and live. Unto uh, righteousness, by whose stripes we were healed. 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 Amen. Amen. So we need to know this. We need to know what the Word of God says. You know, when you feel your body, when you feel yourself going through some kind of uh, not well or sickness, then you need to stand on the Word and says, you know, hey, by Jesus stripes I am healed. Yeah. Amen. And see yourself that way. And stand on what the Word of God says. I'm not receiving this <coughs> because by Jesus stripes I am healed. And I'm not going to receive it. You know, uh, what's being scared right now is people are, are frightened, you know, because of what's going on. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not receiving it. Amen. Amen. I'm standing on what the Word of God says. Yes. Amen. And that's what we yeah. need to do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Believe what the Word of God says. That's why it's so important. We get the Word in us mm -hmm. so that we don't receive those things. And then when you go out and you're full of faith, you're going to minister to people out there. Yeah. And you're going to let them know when they have doubt and they come and they want you to say something. The Lord says, let them know. Mm -hmm. Give them a word. Let them know that by Jesus Christ they can be healed yeah. also. Amen. Let them know that they can be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater is he that's in them than he that's in the world. Amen. 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 So, hallelujah. You're going somewhere to happen. You're going to be, you're a blessing going so, somewhere to happen. Yeah. So whose report will you believe? Amen. Well, let's look at our um, our list. Amen. Let's look at our list. Yeah. We may not read them all, but it says, whose report will you believe? Believe the report of the Lord. Or believe what the Word of God says. Yeah. Amen. Believe what the Word of God says. Bad report says, I'm sick. Feel bad. Good report says, <coughs> I'm healed. Mm -hmm. And we just read the Bible verses. Isaiah 53, 5. Mm -hmm. Amen. By his stripes I'm healed. And so is 124, uh, 1 Peter 2, 24. By his stripes you are healed. I'm going to stand on your word. Amen. Good. Thank you, Lord. That yes, by your amen. stripes I am healed. Amen. amen. You may not feel right, but guess what? I'm going to stand on the word. So sickness, you have to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus has already paid the price. Mm -hmm. And by his stripes I am healed. Yeah. So I'm speaking to you and I command you to go. I don't receive yeah. it amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. So what are we doing? We're confessing the word back to it. And just saying, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. I'm not receiving this. Amen. So body, line up with the word of God and yes. be healed right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So you can do this. Bad report. Too many cares. <laughs> no weapon prospers. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Isaiah 54, 17. We didn't right. go there. Let's go there. Yes. We're not going to do all of these. I'm just, when you, when you take them home and you review them yourself, you know, yes. and, uh, yeah. and look at, look them up yourself. And, uh, man, this is good. Amen. What is Isaiah 54, 17 says? Are you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper in every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is on me, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. And the enemy, <laughs> the world is going to try to use whatever they can against oh, you. Yeah. But no weapon formed against no you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm standing on the word and I'm confessing the word of God and I'm not receiving okay. any Thing. Amen. Amen. The enemy tries to put on you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Whew. It's so important that we know what the Word of God says. Yes. Uh, the third one says, What? I, I'm, uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. <clears throat> I have not been given a spirit of fear. Let's go there. Amen. Yes. <laughs> 2 Timothy 1 7 ah. says, Amen. Oh, we sang it this morning. Yeah, we sang it this morning. That was good. Second. Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? If you're not in the word and if you don't have the word in you, the enemy's gonna see to it mm -hmm. that you're in fear. Yeah. yeah. And the only <laughs> opposite of fear is faith. Mm -hmm. When you get in the word of God and you get yourself <laughs> full of the word of God, you're gonna step out in faith. Yeah. Amen. I say, yeah. Praise God, I'm you know, when you're full of faith, you want to step out uh -huh. and you want to be used of God. You know, hey, I, I'm excited. I'm going somewhere to happen for God. Amen. Amen. And you're going to share and, and, and just bless somebody. Uh -huh. Let them know. He says, you know what? I used to be that way, but not anymore. I'm full of God now. I'm excited Amen. for God. And God's using me. God wants to use you also. Uh -huh. But you need to know that God... You can do all things through him yeah. who strengthens you. He'll strengthen you. Yeah. Amen. For you to get in the word and uh, and get full of the uh, word so you can go somewhere to happen. And be somebody. Be excited for him. Amen. So God has not given us a spirit of fear. So it's, 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 it's a long list. We're not going to go over all of them. But it says many struggle. They wrestle. Not against. Let's go Ephesians 6 and 12. Amen. We're not going to stay long. We're not going to be long. I just want to get a good foundation here. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Ephesians 6 12. This is good. Talking about the body of Christ here. The whole armor of God. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Let's start um let's start at verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Yes. It says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Oh yeah. For why? Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. Amen? High places. Verse 12. So this is what we need to do. I mean, it goes all the way down, but still, we need to put on the whole arm yeah, of God. Amen. 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 Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's not flesh and blood you're fighting against. If you're going to Get into the spirit. You got to be in the word of God. Amen. Yes. yes. Because you got to come yeah, against yeah. the enemy. And you yeah. cannot defeat the enemy in the flesh. That's right. You got to be in the word. Uh -huh. And use the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you get in the yeah. word. <laughs> the enemy's going to see you and he's going to run. <laughs> he's going to see you and say, oh no. I used to make them run. Now they got me on the run. <laughs> when you wake up say, oh, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I don't want to mess with that person. I don't want to mess with her. I don't want to mess with him. I'm out of here. You know, hey, I get beat all every day. <laughs> well, good. It used to be the other way around. Yeah. Now yeah. you beat him yeah. up all the time. Amen. You know, and we want to spread it out and give it to somebody else so that yes. they can change and not be this way no more. Yes. Amen. Woo. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, of love, and of a sound Amen. mind. Amen. Dear God. Go that one more, Carmen. Okay. 
There we go. For God has given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Amen. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Amen. Yes. Ooh. Hallelujah. Mm. Fear is not good. He's given us faith. When we get in right. the word, our faith grows. Amen. Yes. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis, you know. Amen. On a daily basis, you just yes. don't go from uh, read uh, once every month or once every year. You got to read on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Yes. Get the word of God in you. Amen. And get the fears out. Get all those yes. things out of there. Amen. Clean yourself, you know, because the world tries to lay all these negative yes. things on you. Mm -hmm. And we got to clean that up with the, what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. Ooh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Well, we're going to talk about this. Just review a little bit of what we said last week. But Moses in uh, Numbers, uh, you can write these down, Numbers uh, 13, 1 through 13. One through, excuse me, 1 through 33. Moses said, Now throw spies into uh, one from each uh, tribe mm -hmm. into the land of Canaan, the promised land. And 10 of them came back with a negative report, a bad report. Amen. They showed no faith. Mm. It was a doom and gloom report. No. <laughs> they come back and said, Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. They said, We saw giants. Uh -huh. You know, we saw there's big problems out there. <laughs> and those problems are so big. I'm just nobody compared yeah. to those problems, you know, that are coming against me. Mm -hmm. You see yourself mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. They saw big giants out there. You see, we got like grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. You know, you see yourself this big. But guess what? <laughs> Joshua and Caleb had two uh, good reports. Yes. The two spies brought back a good report. Believe in God would help them succeed. <laughs> They were the only men from the generation permitted to go into the promised land. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, hey, when you spend time with him and you know your God and your God is living through you mm -hmm. and you got the word of God in you, <laughs> there ain't no giants out there that's going to mess with you. Amen. Amen. And you see the giant says, greater is he that's in me yes. than he that's in the world. In the world. And you got to see yourself this way. And not yes. just about me, it's about who's backing me. Mm -hmm. I'm God's property and God is with me. And you know, when they see you, they see the God in you. It says, oh, I'm out of here. I think I told you about the little girl that was going down the uh, alleyway. And these guys that have always been jumping on people going through there. And they asked the guy, said, how come you didn't attack this girl? They picked her, finally picked him up. said, how come you didn't uh, go, uh, jump on this girl? And he said, didn't you see the two guys, tall guys walking next to her? <laughs> God was protecting. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And God protects yeah. wherever, yeah. wherever you go. Yes, Amen. It's the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. Amen. There was a spirit realm. They saw into the spirit realm. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to skip through a whole lot of this. So people, God wants to use you. Amen. Yeah. He, he wants to use you. So praise God. Caleb, <laughs> try to find the people as they stood before Moses. Mm -hmm. says, Let's go now. He says, we can go and we can take this land right now. We can conquer it. But you know, you're always going to have people to say, you know, hey, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. You know, let me tell you about the giants. Let me tell you about the giant problems. You know, you're always going to have people trying to talk you out and tell you everything is bigger. Yes. But you have to know greater is he that's in you. Yes. You got to know your God. Amen. When you have a relationship with him, you know your God. Amen. Yes, amen. You can do all things through him. So you're going to you're gonna stand with him. The majority is not always right. I told you this a few minutes ago. Believing in the right report is not always popular. Huh. Caleb had to stand in the midst of the majority. Yeah. Him and uh, Joshua. Amen. So praise God. So we need to focus. Get focused on the big reports magnify, <coughs> magnifying the problem. Amen. Magnifying the problem. You want to magnify your God and not the problem. Yeah. The world has it opposite. They want to magnify their problem oh. instead of magnifying their God. <laughs> we need to know our God is bigger. Yes. Greater is he that is in me. Yes. My God is bigger than any yes. problem you're facing. Amen. We got to see ourselves that way. Yes. And you're always going to have something facing you. But oh. guess what? <laughs> My God is bigger. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. See yourself that way. God is saying, nothing is going to stop me. God has put me on his mission. I'm going to fulfill my mission. I don't care what comes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater sin yeah. is in me. And I'm going to succeed in what God has called me to do. We need to focus on the big blessings. And 
not only focus on the big blessings, but don't forget about the small blessings. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And not only focus on the blessings, but don't forget the blesser. Yeah. He wants to bless you. Yes. Amen. We just got to not forget about him. Yes. Says, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo, I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I, I'm a blessing going somewhere to happen. Exodus 23 and 1 says, You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Mm. Amen. We are going to be justified. We're going to be there for him. Amen. So praise Amen. God. I just got a few uh, stories to share with you just to build you up and let you know greater is he the sinners than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Let them know that it'll be on the website. These uh, scriptures here. Yeah, those of you that are watching, uh, these uh, scriptures are going to be here on the on the website. Yes. Amen. It is uh, whose report will you believe? Amen. And it's got a bad report. It's got a good report, and it's got Bible verses to it. Amen. Amen. So the word of God, is, the word of God is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus heals uh, men with leprosy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Who? Thank you, Lord. It came to pass when he was in a certain city, uh, behold, a man full of leprosy, mm -hmm. who sees Jesus, fell to his face, and besought him, saying, Lord, if thy will, thou can make me clean. Mm -hmm. That was his bad report. Oh, I'm, here, I, I, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. And he put, he put forth his hand and touched him, mm -hmm. saying, I will. Be clean. That's a good report. Yes. And immediately the leprosy left him uh -huh. and charged him, go and tell no man. But he said, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. And guess what? He was cleansed according to uh, Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Amen. Whose report will you believe? Mm -hmm. He says, go. You were not supposed to touch nobody with leprosy. Oh, boy. Jesus touched him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whose report will you believe? Mm -hmm. He wants to heal you. He wants to touch you. The world says, yeah, there's no hope for you. Mm. The word of God says there is. By Jesus' stripes you're healed. Whatever you're facing, whatever situation you have with God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Jesus touched him and says, yes, touch me. Jesus healed a leopard man. <laughs> I mean a paralyzed man, excuse me. <laughs> Jesus was in the, in the, in the, in the Galilee mm -hmm. and they brought this man to him. Yes. He was in a house preaching, and <laughs> friends, some friends came uh -oh. and picked him and took him, and they couldn't get in. Right. It was full. Right. So they went up to the roof, and they removed some of the tiles, and they dropped the man right in front of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus didn't have that bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what is this? I'm preaching. <laughs> no, he saw their faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. He saw their faith. Yes. And he touched and he healed the man. Amen. Amen. Let me see what he, he says. This they dropped him right, right, right in front of Jesus. <laughs> uh, see, in their faith, Jesus said to the man, "Young man, your sins are forgiven." Mm -hmm. But the Pharisees and teachers of religious uh, law said unto them, "Who does he think he is? That's yeah. blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins." Yeah. Jesus knew what they were thinking, <laughs> so he said to them, "Why do you ask?" Why, 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 um, why you question this in your hearts? Mm -hmm. It's easier to say your sins be forgiven and to stand and walk. So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on the earth no. to forgive sin. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, "Stand up, pick uh -huh. up your mat, and go home." Yeah. Awesome report. That's good report. Yeah. It says immediately, as everyone watched, the man. Not only got up, he says he jumped up. Uh -huh. The man jumped up, <laughs> picked up his mat, and he went home praising God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Guess what? He using us mm -hmm. to do the same thing, laying hands on people and letting them know that by Jesus Christ they're healed. Amen. Amen. Everyone was griping <laughs> with great wonders and awe. It says, oh, my God. God, how can God do this? Amen. That's all right. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Praise God. So he wants, he touched the man and told him, you know, get your mat, go home. Amen. And not only did he get up, he jumped up. He was excited. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Yeah. I want to do for you. 
this is just some good reports. The people are reporting the sad reports, the bad reports, mm -hmm. and passing out the bad news. Mm -hmm. The Word of God tells us all kind of good news. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. And we need to stand on what the Word of God yes. says. Yes. Amen. Not on what the world says. Yeah. Just some quick, quick things here. Matthew 9, 18 through 26 says, While Jesus was still talking, the leader of the synagogue came to him. The leader bowed to him and said, My daughter has died, but if you will come and touch her mm. with your hand, mm -hmm. she will live again. So Jesus and his followers went. Oh, boy. Amen. They went. He yeah. said, That was his faith. If you come and touch her, I know that she'll be healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. On the way, Jesus heals a woman with an issue of blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. There was a woman <laughs> that had been bleeding for 12 months. She years, came behind him. Years, Jesus, years. years, excuse me, <laughs> and touched the uh, uh, bottom of his coat. Yeah. She was thinking, if I could touch his coat, oh. I will be healed. Jesus be turned. He felt that going out of him. <laughs> Somebody touched me. The disciples said, what do you mean somebody touched you? All these people are bumping into you. Mm -hmm. He knew somebody drew from him. Yes. That anointing came out. Yeah. Amen. So he knows. And he, and she knew. Yeah. And immediately, immediately, she was healed. Amen. Yes, says, <laughs> you Thank are God. made well because you believe. Uh -huh. Amen. So whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> she was healed immediately. After 12 years, amen. Oh, but she knew her faith was built and said, if I could just touch the hem of his yeah. garment, amen. So we can still, we can still do this, amen. Amen. Praise God, praise yeah. God. God is there for us. He's a good yeah. report. He is the report we all need. We yeah. need God's report, amen. Uh, Proverbs uh, 15 30 says, The eyes, the light of the eyes rejoice the heart, and with good report maketh the bones fat. Amen. The easy to read Bible uh, version says, a smile makes people happy. Good news, a good report makes them feel better. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, hey, I'm looking for the good report. And you're yeah. a good report going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Because mm -hmm. you got the greater one in you. Amen. Amen. You lay hands. You, you, you give them a good word. Amen. Yes. About, 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 about the Lord. We have a testimony. Yeah. We've been tested. We have a testimony, uh -huh. and we're going somewhere to share. God yeah. says, share your testimony with that person, and that person is brought out of whatever they went through. Yeah. Amen. Thank so Lord. praise God, and he wants to use e each and every one of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's not holding back. We don't want to hold back. Remember, he says, you can do all things through Christ right. who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength to go out. I don't care what you're facing. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us yeah. on a daily basis. Yes. You don't know what's coming, but I'm spending time with him. And whatever's coming my way, yes. greater is he that sent me than yeah. he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. me. Thank so Lord. wherever he sends you, wherever you're going, yeah. know that you can do all things through him. Yes. And he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. He's always with you. Amen. Wherever you go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Go in somewhere to happen. The Lord yeah. wants to bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank I think Lord. we're going to stop right there. Yeah. Let me let me see. Bad or good? Hell was rejoicing and spreading the bad reports that Jesus was dead. <laughs> Jesus is dead. Hell is rejoicing and partying. The saints are mourning. <laughs> On the third day, Jesus turns up and he, he turns the bad report into a good report. Good report. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jesus said, the report is wrong. I'm alive. I'm well. God. They, told, they told Thomas, the master's up. The master's up. He's alive. We saw him. He said, no. He said, I have to see him. And I got to put my fingers in his, mm -hmm. in his, in his womb. Yeah. <laughs> so he was right. Next time the apostles are or disciples are uh, are meeting. Yeah. <laughs> the doors are locked, but guess what? Jesus still walks through. Yes. So uh, he walks right up to Thomas and, and says, you know, here I am. Touch me. Put your fingers in. Oh no, he says, I believe. <laughs> so you have to see the believer. 
And blessed are those that don't have to see the relief. That's right. And we right. know this word is for real, so yeah. we're going to step out in faith. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so whose report will you believe? Amen. I shall believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and uh, just a quick, uh, in uh, John, you can mark this down, in John 11, 38 and 34, <laughs> Jesus came. Mary and Martha had told him to come because Lazarus was uh, was 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 sick. Jesus waited, and he came. He shows up, and he says, "Where is he?" He says, "Well, he's behind the uh, the, the the stone. They rolled the stone over this over this uh, cave, you know." He says, "Well, take the stone up." He says, "Oh no!" He said, "Don't do that." He says, "It's four days now." He said, "He stinks." Yeah. <laughs> he says, "Take the stone off." And he called Lazarus in the eye name. It's just, he called Lazarus by name. He says, come forth. And guess what? He came. Yeah. That is a good report. The bad report, he was gone. Lazarus, I don't know how he came, but he came, okay? So he was supposed to be wrapped in all these uh, dead clothes, you know, and, but he came. Uh, whether he just dropped on and off of him or he just floated over there. I don't know. <laughs> but he came because Jesus says, come. Yeah. Amen. And guess what? He wants to do the same with you, and he wants to use you just the same way. Amen. Amen. Wherever you go, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Cast out devils, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what he wants us to do. He, amen. He's put us on this mission to fulfill a mission, not to halfway do it, not to fail the mission, but to complete our mission. Amen. Mm -hmm. And one day, he's just going to receive you in heaven when he calls you home and says, welcome home, good and faithful servant. Amen. So those of you that are watching, you know, God wants to use you. If you haven't accepted Christ, now is the time. You know, all you have to do is say, Lord, I failed you. I repent. Yes, uh, yes. Confess every sin. I want you to come in my life and be my Lord and Savior. And he won't turn you away. Amen. You know, you'll come in and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. All you Amen. have to do is just find you a church where you can go and, uh, and get rooted and grounded, you know, get you a Bible where you can study to show yourself approved, and God's going to use you in a mighty way. He's already called you. We just need an answer. Yeah. <laughs> we just need an answer and do what he's called us to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that we come before you, Lord. Bless this time, Lord. Bless this word, Lord. Touch your people, Lord. Touch them, Lord. If there's anybody out there that needs a touch of God, just put your hands on your body. And Father, I just thank you that by Jesus Christ they are healed from the yes. crown of the head to the soles of their feet, Father. And your word will go come and touch them, Lord, and just feel them and heal them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 <laughs>